Hey guys, welcome back to Ambiguity. Today we're going to be talking about name change and gender change, marker change, and all the anxieties that go with that and how to problem solve that. First of all, what I've done so far is uh, not a lot. Um, I have changed my gender marker and in the state of New Hampshire, all I had to do was uh, get a letter from my doctor and to send to the and take it down to the DMV and present it and all of a sudden they're like okay and they put an M on my driver's license. Now uh, there's a site that I went to that I'm going to talk about later um, that will uh, tell you where to go to get these forms and it's really simple. Uh, the next thing, um, I'm now having my name changed finally, legally. And so I printed, I went to that site that I'm going to talk about. Actually, my wife is going to talk about it. Um, but we went to that site and got the paperwork from that site and filled it out and just went to the courthouse and um, that's all they needed. And I... Gave, I submitted the forms to them and they said, okay, now we're going to mail you a court date and I now have a court date and my court date is September 19th and this is what, like the 21st or 22nd, something like that of August. My court date for my name change, my name change. I'm so excited. So, uh, it's coming up here in like a month, so. It's pretty exciting. And now all of a sudden, like, like I'm sure about my name. I mean, these are the anxieties that come along with it. I'm sure that I like Thai. And I like Thai spelled T-Y-G-H. You know, I like to be a little different. But I was entertaining the um, idea of possibly having a longer version of that name and using Thai for short. You know, like my son is named Benjamin but we call him Ben. So I was thinking that like maybe uh, Tyson, but spelled T-Y-G-H-S-O-N and uh, or uh, my, my wife hated this one, Titan. <laughs> She's like, oh no, you're not gonna be called Titan. But anyway, um, so anyway, I have a month and um, gotta do a lot of thinking, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna settle on Ty. So, that was easy. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna send you over to my wife and she's gonna do a little demonstration and show you uh, really easy ways to get all kinds of forms for all kinds of things, okay? So to figure so, out how to change your gender marker and your name in the US, it's really pretty easy because there's a website that's already set up to help walk you through it. It's called transequality.org. And if you go there, in the upper right, there's an ID document center. You click on that, and then it takes you to these two drop-downs. So for changing state documents, you just type in the state where you live. So we live in New Hampshire. Plug in New Hampshire, takes you to this page, and walks you through. If you have to change your name, there's a, a link that you can click on that tells you how to do it if you want to change your driver's license. There's a link here including the form that you need signed by your doctor and if you want to change your birth certificate there's a link here. Now remember to change your birth certificate you have to go to the state where you were born. So for us that would be California but again it's pretty easy you just go up to the state click on California come down here birth certificate Click the link, takes you right to all the instructions and the forms that you need. For federal documents, you just go down here to this drop down. You can choose passport, social security, selective service, immigration, or veteran documents. Pick what you want, it'll take you right to the link for the US passport, tells you how to go about changing your gender marker also gives you a link to the um, a form 
that you can a sample letter that you can give to your doctor that they can then type up and sign for you all the forms that you need depending on if you already have a, a passport or you've never had one you pick different forms it's really all laid out right there for you so I would really recommend that anyone in the US use this this website because they've done all the work for you transequality.org okay so guys I hope that helps um, at least okay that's how we do it in the United States I don't know how it's done in other countries but um, uh, that's how we do things here and here is a shirt for um, the site that my wife was talking about e quality get it all right guys I'll see you next week have a good one bye Sandy what's tomorrow's date Okay, thank you.